head go to church, I see you in hell. And your girl, she a flip, give me heads and tails. Everybody fake, so I got real for sale. Gunpowder, fill the air. Drop a shit on they self, you can smell the fear. And these bitches laying flowers, cause the king is near. T raw, this is the new flavor in your ear. Niggas off a of damn baby hair. Why you acting tough? Heard you work at Bill the Bear. Well, hello. How's it going? Who's have another? I'm swimming. I'm a coming. I'm the fuckest three of us. <laughs> so, yay! This is no multiple Minecraft. And if you guys would like to introduce yourself, my name is Night Ghost, formerly known as Night Ghost 101. And I am Phoenix69778. Always known as Phoenix 69778. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stuck a VTI day. And it's just me. <laughs> Yay. So, everybody, this is the new venture. There's the three of us out. There's another two to join us as the time comes. This is the server. It's a multiple world server. And we're going to play some community-based Minecraft. We've got builders, we've got farmers, we've got noobs, we've got everything covered. So, without further ado, would you guys like to say anything? No, I'm good. <laughs> this world's looking really good. I'm excited to explore all this clay and stuff everywhere. Got some pigs over there to start. Yeah, oh, well, this it's going to be pretty awesome. This seed's pretty awesome. I've spent quite a lot of hours looking through this seed. And in the whole seed itself, we've got a quad witch farm. We've got the mesa biome. We've got so many hundred blocks away from spawn. We've got the ice spiked biome. So it's going to be quite interesting. Alrighty. Sorry, people. Tree over there. Oh. Yes, yes there is, and I think that's our first stop, so should we go and click some wood? Yeah, I think that would be a good start. Gotta punch that wood. Yeah. It's the morning, you gotta get that wood. <laughs> like a, really? <laughs> Not already, please. <laughs> well, hey, hey, start as you mean to go on. The whole basis of this is a fun, interesting server. So we're going to grab as much wood as we can, get some tools going, get some mining done, and get yeah. to work. So do you guys want to do like, I mean, you know, I never really wondered this, but are you guys wanting to do like separate bases, or are we wanting to start together, or, I mean, I don't really have a preference well, on this. Really. I think the good idea would be if we built a spawn as a group, everybody gets involved with it, we build it up, and we make it unique, and then we have our own bases where we do our own thing. I mean, I'm going to go into mob farming, quite deep into mob farming. Okay. So I'm going to have a couple of bases. I'm going to have one by the witch's hut because I'm going to make a witch farm. But I want one in the end, one in the nether. So it's going to be a world community. We can have a nether hub. We can have anything That'll you want. That'll be a lot of fun. I think nether hubs are really cool to build. I've seen some yeah. real cool ideas over the years. Well, the building, if you want to do a project, you can gladly take a project on. If you want to share with projects, there's a chance for that as well. It's anything goes, we can all do what needs to be done. Yeah, I got you. Collabs, definitely have collabs because. That just sometimes it's more fun playing Minecraft with others. Oh yeah. I play every game with friends. Playing by yourself just doesn't do it for me anymore. Nope, I grew out of that back first thing. Unless I'm doing like, you know, just like some prep work or something. Yeah, well Minecraft, I, I spend so much time playing modded on my own. Yeah. It's going to be nice to have a group of people and get into some vanilla. I haven't touched vanilla for quite a long time. Yeah, me neither, honestly. I mean, I've messed around with it here and there, just like, just because I was bored or I wanted to try something different. But typically, 
Um, I haven't played vanilla with like friends um, since 1.5, 1. 1. 1. 1.6, something like that. The horse update, what was that, 1. 1.6? Yeah, 1. 1.64. Yeah, 1. 1.64, yeah. So yeah, that was probably about the last time I played with Minecraft with others, apart from modded. I was working with a B-team server about then, so... What, have you got tools? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I already made up some wooden tools. I just need to get some... Oh, there's a nice little cave right here with some uh, charcoal and stuff, though. Yep, so we've got night coming, so... We didn't get any food, but there's some sheep right here, so we can just kill those if we wanted to. Yeah, I'm just gonna get these pigs. Somebody hooked me up with some cooked mutton. <laughs> I like that you can kill the sheep and get food now. I mean, how it seems like such a simple thing, but how long did that go on before? Oh yeah, it works as well. Mutton have had it for such a long time. And vanilla just took ages to catch up. I and think they should. I, th I think they need to add a few more. Like I think you should get meat from squids too. I, I don't I know like why. The fact, it yeah. Kind of cool. Well, like in Muddy, you get calamari from there. Yeah. Well, I just took a skeleton out. They don't need to go nuts, though, because some of the modded ones are so nuts because there is, like, just tons of food, and so you never have to worry about food, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, I was playing Crash Landed for a while, and I like the fact that you lost value for your food if you ate the same thing. Mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of an interesting idea. It, it works as well, I think. I find a cave. I'm heading down it. Yeah, I think Pam's Harvest Craft does add to some, but it also makes it very hard in other cases. Zombie mind, you know. Oh well, that was my pickaxe gone all over it. Nice little cave here, guys. Oh no, it's dead end. Okay, well, it's a nice place for me to hang out for us to hang out for the night. Yep, I don't know where you are, but I'm in a different cave somewhere. Well, as long as you're safe, that's the main. Yeah, I'll live. It was like right there next to spawn. There was a little cave hole. You know, it's like dead ends on both ends, but it's got a little bit of co uh, coal and gives us a chance to get some cobblestone and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna get some cobble and make myself a cooker. I've got some. Pork. I got a little bit of mutton, I think. You got some food there too, Night Ghost? Yes, sir. Alright, cool. Make sure we're all doing good, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, so. Got furnace on the go. Okay, time to get some. Where's going? Hey. Get me a stone picket. It's this first point, like grind a bit that gets me. I love it when I've got a diamond pickaxe and <laughs> a couple of enchants on the go and Oh yeah. But I think we need to pick a spot for the town spawn. Yeah. Once we get our initial setup and whatnot, we need to figure out what we're going to do about that. Well, yeah, because if we grab some wall set us beds up where the spawn is. And then, are we going to like stick with a theme, or are we just going to build, um, make it? We can have themes. We can have themes wherever you want to have. Do you know we can have one theme somewhere? totally different one somewhere else there's going to be distance between the villages and what we build plus our bases so it's actually a good idea to do it that way like there's lots of building opportunities oh yeah oh that was weird But we're gonna need like a castle at some point as well as a main focal point and then we could build a village outside of the castle and with all this clay 
we've got color, we've got the colors sorted. We've got uh -oh. this is this is an unlimited amount of time we can use this for. I just heard a creeper blow up. Was that you, Nagos? Yeah, it was a controlled explosion. We're good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I heard it go boom. <laughs> like, I need some cobblestone. Here's a creeper. I can just make him blow up and get some cobblestone. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing right now, too. Some cobblestone. Yep, makes it. It's amazing how, how much cobblestone, how quick it can go sometimes. Yeah, it is. I've just used um, probably about 50,000 in the last build I used, if not more. And that's just last weekend, other than that, just building a Sky Factory house. Once I started, I got carried away and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and now I want to make it even bigger. <laughs> yeah, I was watching a little bit of that video the other day, just to kind of see what, you know, see what your house looked like, because you, you know, I saw that it was like some sort of big house build. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, for, for what it was, it's, I've, d I've done bigger and I've done bad, but it just took like two and a half days. And every time I thought I'd finished it, I think I don't like that bit, I'll do something else. And now I want to do a dome on the roof, so I'll walk away from builds and I'll walk back and I'll walk back to them. You know, I did that to my vanilla series, unfortunately. I, I hadn't been on it in so long, and then, like, I just went back to it one day and, like, built the lighthouse, and then I built the boat, and it's like, I do that sometimes, too. I, I find it, it helps sometimes, though. You step away and you go back and you get a whole different aspects of it. Mm hmm I was watching the lighthouse one the other day, to be fair. Yeah, I, I like that lighthouse. It turned out, I did that for my wife. My, uh... My wife loves lighthouses, so I, I was asking her the other day, I was like, what do you think I should build? And she's like, how about a lighthouse? And I'm like, I could do a lighthouse, so that's why I did it. Alright, it look good at the end. Yeah, it never does while you're actually building. It only takes no, time. but that's because everybody's critical of their own work. So you're never entirely happy with your own work. It's only other people who are spots. Phoenix is over there monster hunting. Oh, well, <laughs> I saw a spider, I couldn't move there. I'm gonna chase for a skeleton. Whoa, you okay? Oh, uh, that was vaguely controlled. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> You're above it was my controlled house. controlled in the sense that he didn't <laughs> kill me, but I didn't mean to actually make him blow up just as much as get the heck away from me. Well, I decided to make a sword. Looks like the moon is getting ready to... It's on, it's on its downward stroke. It's about a couple fingers from the horizon, so we should be getting daytime here soon. I'll find the enderman. Ooh, nice. See, you're out moving like me. <laughs> See, Night Ghost, it's not just me. Stalker's out here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sunrise. That's right, look over the horizon, the moon's setting. Yeah. The sun's rising. We survived the first night, no deaths. We've got a zombie coming after us, but hey. I think we'll be alive. okay. There's two of us. I think I think we'll be alright. <laughs> well, he's kind of sitting there and he's like, I don't want to get on fire. <laughs> yeah. Let him burn. Get out of the water, you wuss. Look at him run back to the water. He's like, I'm just gonna sit here and hang out in the water. Right. So I spent that night, I killed a spider, two skeletons, and dug a bit of cobblestone. But hey, this is just the intro. Yeah, I made a little, made a little hidey ho hole. My basic tool set, basic resources, nice very, very basic resources. And getting ready for more. Oh, this is a huge cave system. Well, that's something we can explore on the next episode, right guys? Oh yeah, definitely. It could be a good one for us to, to explore together. Well, so from me, 
Phoenix. The you podcast. You ghost. Thanks for watching. I'm about to say. <laughs> Take it easy. See you soon.